controller features haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, a built-in microphone, and improved haptic feedback. The adaptive triggers can change resistance dynamically based on the game's events, creating a more immersive experience. The Xbox Series 10 controller is called the Xbox Wireless Controller. It is almost identical to the Xbox One controller but offers a new share button, redesigned D-pad and improved latency. Microsoft has also added a USB-C port to the controller for charging. Games and Exclusive Titles While hardware and specification differences are essential, the games and exclusive titles are what set these consoles apart and drive sales. Each manufacturer has its exclusive titles to entice gamers to switch to their console. Sony is known for its incredible first-party games, with titles such as Uncharted, The Last of Us, and God of War winning critical acclaim amongst gamers. Sony is expected to release exclusive titles such as Spider-Man, Miles Morales and Ratchet and & Clank, Rift Apart on the PlayStation 5. Microsoft has been acquiring studios to bolster its first-party games inventory. Microsoft acquired Bethesda, the company responsible for the Elder Scrolls and Fallout series. Microsoft is expected to release exclusive titles such as Halo, Infinite and Forza Horizon 5 on the Xbox Series 10. Pricing the PlayStation 5 is priced at $499, while the Digital Edition costs $399. The Digital Edition has the same specifications as the regular console but without a disk drive, making it an affordable option for gamers who prefer digital copies of games. The Xbox Series 10 is priced at $499, similar to the regular PlayStation 5. In some ways, it's amazing that gaming consoles have advanced so far since their humble beginnings. Both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series 10 offer a lot of new features to help immerse gamers in their favorite titles. The PlayStation 5's DualSense controller has been the talk of the town, with its innovative haptic feedback, adaptive triggers, and built-in microphone. Microsoft's Xbox Wireless Controller on the other hand, is an iteration on the already fantastic Xbox One controller, which is widely regarded as one of the most comfortable in the industry. One area that Microsoft has over the PlayStation 5 is backward compatibility. The Xbox Series 10 has backward compatibility with thousands of Xbox and Xbox 360 games, making it easy for older game enthusiasts to enjoy their favorite classics. The PlayStation 5 only supports select PlayStation 4 games, which may limit its appeal to older gamers. Both consoles are priced similarly, with the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series 10 retailing for $499. The PlayStation 5 Digital Edition is also available, costing $399, which may be an attractive option for gamers who prefer digital game copies. Furthermore, it's worth noting that both consoles have received positive reviews from experts and fans alike. Another feature worth discussing is network connectivity. Both consoles have built-in Wi-Fi and support for Ethernet connections, making it easy for gamers to connect and play online. The PlayStation 5 has been reported to have faster download speeds, which is a significant advantage for gamers who frequently download games or updates. It's also worth considering the potential for future updates and games. Both Sony and Microsoft have committed to providing regular software updates to improve their console's performance and add new features.